So this fight with Simon Marcus versus Alex Pereira is a stylistic matchup. You're going to have the boxing of Pereira versus the kicks of Simon. What will do more damage? What will win the fight? We'll find out. This fight means everything to my career at this point because, um, you know, I've won the Glory World title before. I've lost it before. I've won it again. But I don't see myself as just, you know, a guy who wins the belt and uh, one-time champion, two-time champion. I see myself as the reigning champion, you know. So at this point in my career, I feel like I've made corrections in my game. I've gotten better. I've improved. And uh, I'm really looking right now at this point to continue to uh, reign as the champion and grow, not, not just reign, but grow and set myself apart from the rest of the field in terms of uh, Muay Thai or kickboxing, any stand-up sport. I feel that uh, I'm the number one and, and uh, I'm more than capable of uh, doing that. So, that, so being, being, becoming the world champion, that was my goal before. Now it's keeping the belt and the, Alex Perez is the first one that uh, I have to prove myself against, and I'm ready for that. Watching Simon Marcus in the ring is truly awe-inspiring. This guy has been around the world. He's done it all. Multi-time Muay Thai world champion, multi-time glory kickboxing world champion. He's the current and reigning, of course, middleweight champion of the world. And this guy, pound for pound, does things that really no one else can do. Simon Marcus has such brutal power with his kicks. We saw it in his fight with Dustin Jacoby. I think he was, had a tough first round, came out in the second round. His kicks were just too powerful. He broke uh, Dustin Jacoby's forearm. So Pereira's got to be careful. Him being from a boxing background opens up those kicks for Simon. Uh, it wasn't a surprise. It wasn't the first time I've broken someone's arm with a, with a kick. Um, and. Like I said, you know, when it lands correctly and, it, and, it, and you throw it correctly and, and that power transfer goes to the bone or to the weapon or, or to the arm or whatever, you expect to do damage and a broken bone is, is uh, it's kind of expected when it's land at, at my level, at where I am in my career. It's nothing like, oh wow, I broke his arm. This is kind of like, yeah. Alex Pereira has the chance of a lifetime. Beat Simon Marcus and he's a world champion. It's the moment he's been waiting for. And if you've been following him on social media, he is taking this as seriously as any fight or any fighter could ever take a fight. He's in the best physical condition of any athlete in any sport right now. He is ready to go. He's gonna use his boxing. He's gonna use his power. He knows how strong Simon Marcus is with the kicks. So he's gonna try and turn this into a street brawl. And if he can do that, we're gonna have a new glory champ. What makes Pereira very dangerous is his boxing skill. So anytime someone fights him, they always have to make sure um, they have an answer for his punches. So that's where I feel Simon Marcus is going to use his kicks. So this fight is really going to be about the kicks of Simon Marcus versus the punches of Alex Pereira. Um, I'm definitely the hardest kicker. Whether he's the hardest puncher or not, I don't know. We've never fought. Um, uh, but, you know, you got to land to make it count. And I don't see that happening in this fight.